You are the supernatural father. You are supernatural God. You are supernatural king. Oh, and so you be. Let me hear you say. Supernatural father. You are supernatural God. You are supernatural king. Oh, and so you be. Supernatural God, Supernatural, I am supernatural. I supernatural. I am supernatural. I am supernatural. I supernatural. I supernatural. I supernatural. Good morning. Welcome to our supernatural broadcast today. What a mighty God we say. You are a supernatural person. God is a supernatural father. And so your life is supernatural. Your relationship is supernatural. Thank God for supernatural 2023. It's going to be a beautiful year for you and your family. It's going to be a wonderful year for your children. It's going to be a year of greatness. It's going to be a year of achieving a notable feat because you are a supernatural person. Hallelujah. Welcome to our Supernatural Day. Um, this week has been uh, declared the Supernatural uh, Week of Light. The Supernatural Light, covenant of Supernatural Light is at work in your life. And thank God for what God did yesterday when we saw the declaration concerning Supernatural Strength. God is empowering you this year to achieve what you cannot achieve naturally. You will achieve them supernaturally. Supernatural Strength will be present in your life. You will enjoy Supernatural Provision. God is going to provide for you your need. Uh, today, by God's grace, he's been declared the Supernatural Restoration Day. A covenant day of Supernatural Restoration. Hallelujah. God is a God of restoration. And I need you to look at the scripture on your description in Joel chapter 2 and verse number 25 in the King James Version. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten and the cankawa and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Hallelujah. Yeah, the, you know, we, we have this teaching of telling you to forget the yesteryear, don't remember the former thing, but there are things you need to remember in your yesteryear when you look at the scripture. He said, I will restore to you the years, the years, so this morning, we're going to be going back to some years um, at your back and begin to bring in some very important supernatural thing upon your family. And so God said, I will restore. And if God is a God of restoration, then you are entitled to restoration. There are things in 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, and the years before that has been stolen from you that God will want you to collect back. And lay claim on your restoration. God is a God of restoration. In the natural world, it is said that opportunity loss cannot be regained. That's in the natural realm. But in the supernatural realm, not only can you regain it, it can be restored to you in a bigger and better way. And so I want you to type out one time, my God is a God of supernatural restoration. And that's what you are going to be experiencing this morning and as from today. You're going to suddenly find out in a particular hour today that something they told you cannot be done and has been taken away from you will begin to come back. If your amen can turn that day, you are the one I'm talking about. So 
So there are about four levels of restoration or compensation. Another English word it is compensation. Then the Lord said, I should declare, and that it's going to come to pass in your life. Number one, the years that the locust has eaten. What is a locust? A locust is a feeder of vegetable on about growing, growing vegetable. When you locusts invade a field, they consume everything that is about growing in a growing state. So whatever you have lost to growing, growing ideas, growing opportunity that before it could mature is gone. The Lord is restoring such years to you in the name of Jesus. Number two, years that the canker worm has eaten. Canker worm feed on trees, already mature fruit. Let's say you have embarked on a business, above you have grown from the growing state to a place where it's supposed to be bringing you harvest and it disappeared. That is the one that the canker worm has eaten. It shall be restored to you. Let me hear your email louder. Number three, the one that caterpillar has eaten. Eaten. Caterpillar is the only animal that can uproot already established them. Of course, it was made, you, if you remember the vehicle we call Caterpillar, they come for who huge project. That is talking about established venture. If you have ever lost to any years, something that was already established, the Lord said, I will restore them to you. And then number four, the years that Parma Worm has eaten. Parma Worm feed on future. Parma one is the animal, is the only system that makes, before it could come to fruition, every pregnancy lost uh, to miscarry their parma one. The Lord said, I will restore them to you. So you should expect four level of restoration by the covenant of this declaration today. Number one, everything you have lost when it was just uh, coming up, a growing stage, Everything you have lost when it was already matured, about to be harvested, every established venture that you have ever lost, and anything that before it could even come to light of day, a miscarriage, a miscarriage of relationship, a miscarriage of business, the Lord said, I will restore them. And if I can share yeah, your amen, you are enjoying restoration as of today at this declaration in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one kind of restoration you must expect this year is the restoration of joy. In Psalm 51 verse number 12, it says, restore unto me the joy of my salvation and uphold me with the free spirit. So if you have lost your joy concerning anything, the Lord is restoring them back to you through an accident, through the wrong, wrong relationship, wrong business transaction, the Lord is restoring your joy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's a supernatural restoration. Then Another thing I need you to know is that your restoration will not come the way it goes. Hallelujah. It's going to come in the dimension that I call sevenfold restoration. In Proverbs chapter 6, verse number 31, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold and he shall give up the substance of his house. So expect not just a restoration, but a sevenfold restoration. And that's your portion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Another level of restoration is called family restoration by the order of Mephishobeth. In 2 Samuel chapter 9 and verse number 7, and David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake. I will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. There's going to be a family restoration. Whatever was lost in your father and great grandfather that are virtue. The Lord is restoring it back to your family. If your amen can turn that, then the declaration and the prophecy is for you. Another restoration that the Lord will say, that I said he will do even this year, is the restoration of health. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse number 17, for I will restore health unto you. Hallelujah. I don't know what part of your body has packed up. If it's your eye system, or your tooth, if you've lost any part of your body to process of time and shine, the Lord said to tell you, I will restore health to you 
and I will heal you of your woe. Say the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, Desire whom no man seeketh after. The Lord is restoring your hair. In the name of Jesus, supernaturally, your head will be restored. Your children's head will be restored. And you are receiving it now as you are shouting the Amen. The restoration is coming to you. In this year, what you have lost to yesteryear, they are coming back to you. They are coming back to your family. How do you and what do you hope to be restored from? In the book of Isaiah chapter 42 and verse number 22, Woma Kasegra, there's someone here, as I'm speaking to you now, you felt something that left you, a finances you went back up, or somebody stole money from you or played you, the Lord said that money is coming back in 7-4. I'm talking to someone prophetically now. In the book of Isaiah chapter number 42, verse number 22, it said, but these people robbed spoiled they are all of them a snare in holes and they are hid in prison houses they are for a prey non deliver for a spoil and not say restore yeah there are about uh, six things the lord said that will be restored to you where you have been robbed either by arm robber either psychological robbery either physical robbery the lord said you are entitled to, to restoration where you have been spoiled let's say somebody spoil your image or somebody spoil something that belongs to you or your property got spoiled the lord said you are entitled to restoration where you have been a snare in a hole by the supernatural evil power. They ensnare you, they ensnare your business. The Lord said, restoration, you are entitled. Where you have been in prison houses, time wasted. Kabo in the course of your life, relationship time that are wasted, emotional investment that are wasted, you are entitled for restoration. Where somebody has made you a prey and become victim of circumstances, you are entitled to restoration. Where you have been undelivered in the past, where you have suffered, you know, any kind of deliverance that you are supposed to enjoy, and the Bible said you are, you are entitled to restore. But here is the delivery system is said and not say restore. So how do you enjoy supernatural restoration by declaring as I stand as your prophet this morning in the name that is above every day. I came with the word of God in my mouth. Where you have been robbed, be restored in the name of Jesus, either physically or spiritually. Whatever I robbed you of your entitlement in God, I command them restore in the name of Jesus. In the yesteryear, where you have been spoiled, where your business has been spoiled, where your relationship has been spoiled, receive restoration in the name of Jesus. Where you have been a snare in a hole, in the name that is above everything, I command restoration, supernatural restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every time in the yesteryear that I've been spent in prison houses, where liberty was taken away from you, where you could not move an inch anywhere, I declare in the name that is above every name, receive your restoration now. Where you have been praying in the mouth of victim and be a victim of circumstances, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you have been undelivered in yesteryear and you have to wait and wait, be restored. I decree restoration upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration of your wealth as your image turned up. Supernatural restorations of your signs and wonders life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive supernatural restoration of your promotion in 2023. Every promotion you have been denied of. In the name of Jesus. I'm saying promotion come neither from the east or south or west. It comes from God's presence. Be restored with in supernatural restore with promotion this year. In the name of Jesus. I command supernatural restoration of your breakthrough. Receive it now. Supernatural restoration of your businesses. Every business you have lost to any kind of economic restriction. In the name that is above every name, every business idea that the enemy stole away from you, they are restored to you this year. In the name of Jesus, supernaturally, you are restored with breakthrough. Your breakthrough is restored to you. Supernatural restoration of breakthrough. Supernatural restoration of laughter. You can hardly laugh because of situation of life. You 
you, your joy has been taken away. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I banish every spirit of depression inside your life. I command it to disappear. Every heart that has eaten you deep into your boat, I decree supernatural restoration to so your laughing life. Your laughter has been restored. Your Isaac has been restored. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim restoration of divine connection. Every connection you have lost, where people spoil your name and people left you, your helper stopped helping you. This year they will suddenly remember you. As the Lord vindicates you, receive your supernatural restoration of divine connection in the name of Jesus. And I proclaim supernatural restoration of provision. The Lord will provide for your need this year. Every provision that you have lost, I command them restore back to you. Supernatural uh, 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 restoration of revelation. Some, some some years ago you used to dream the lord used to speak to you until a particular time you don't remember your dreams anymore you don't remember when the lord even if they speak prophecy they don't remember you in this year i decree supernatural restoration of your revelation life in the name of jesus christ receive supernatural restoration of revelation your eyes of understanding is enlightened in your dream you will remember supernatural restoration of your excellent spirit from now on your children will be the best in their school. Supernatural restoration of excellent spirit. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Supernatural restoration of divine surprises. From today, the Lord will restore divine surprises to you. Your riches is restored. In the name of Jesus, your opportunities, they are restored. Your opportunities, they are restored. In the name of Jesus, your marital fortune, your marital celebration, they are restored. I decree every blessing lost to yesteryear, to locusts, to uh, cankerworm, to palmerworm, and to caterpillar, they are restored to you. Your blessing is restored. The blessing of your children are restored. The blessing of your career are restored. The blessing of your marriage are restored. I hear the Lord say, that miscarriage that took away your oh, 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 some part of your womb, that womb area that is lost, that organ is restored. Now, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray Amen and amen and amen. What a wonderful supernatural God. We say, expect, expect, and keep declaring, restore, restore. As you go throughout today, as some of all those opportunities and time begin to fly through your spirit, begin to declare restoration upon them. And so shall it be. Your friendship will be restored. Your quality life will be restored. And your head is upon, certainly restored to you. I hear the Lord saying, somebody, you are no more sleeping well. Your, your good sleep sleep is restored in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Thank you for staying with us in the Supernatural Brokers. I want you to share it. I want you to comment. I want you to like it. I want you to tell your friends about it. It's going to be a wonderful testimony. We keep coming into your life throughout this year. Today is blessed for you. And don't forget, as for Monday, our 21 day fasting prayer is coming. I can't wait for that. It's going to be the best we have ever had in the years before. It will be easy for you and you will be able to achieve a lot in 2023. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. In Jesus' name, amen.